Hey, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk to you about the difference between sheep and goats and make some comparisons. And we want to show you our new location. We've moved up the hill. I'm thinking, you know how goats and sheep like to climb up on rocks and stuff anyways? Wouldn't it be cool if I put a sheep house, or a goat house, I mean, right on top of these rocks, just clear the vegetation and build the goat house right on top of these rocks? I think they'd be in heaven. Hey, we're coming to you from a ghost town again in the tombstone area today that we're checking out. We want to talk to you a little bit about goats, our own goats and sheep and how you can actually make quite a few comparisons between them and people. If you're new to this channel, we're two rebels off grid. We left Colorado as fast as we could. We came to Cochise County and set up at Law Acres Farmstead here in the Tombstone. Here we are talking about goats today. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all things related to homesteading. We're building our homestead from the ground up and we'd love it if you guys follow along. We're doing this in our early 50s, so if you're older and you're considering doing something like this, we hope we can be an inspiration to you. So if you guys watched our last video, you know we just recently had to move. We made a mistake about where we were setting up our camp, and we ended up having to move away from that area. And uh, it had something to do with code enforcement, and we were we actually set camp up in the setback, which. I know better and we shouldn't have done that, but we did. And we were planning on moving up the hill and getting closer to where we're building everything. And uh, this just kind of gave us the impetus to start that move now and, and get that done rather quickly. So the last week has been kind of a whirlwind. fly country yeah as we're going to talk about neighbors in this video but first we just wanted to kind of give you an update it's been like a week or a week and a half like carrie said we're sitting in these ruins here in tombstone and uh we're going to try to just visit this kind of stuff in each one of our videos until we kind of run out of buildings to back film and i think it gives us some other interest besides just us managing our chickens in this really tiny coop I'm going up there though. Oh, there's a guinea fowler going up there. Maybe get one of the big ones. No, they'll go in there. Will they? Yep. Oh my gosh. You guys, we're trying to save your lives. They're like all, they all have their heads stuck out over here. Yeah. <laughs> guys. It's very crowded. They're doubling in size. Uh, we need to kind of move them out of there into their own structure and away from the dogs and away from uh, the goats and that. Feeding the goats and the dogs at the same time. The goats are constantly getting in our way, getting in the way of, of they want to be where the dogs are, right? It's really cute with them all three lined up there. Cute. When the dogs are being fed dog food, the goats automatically, they all of a sudden think they're dogs themselves and they want to run over and eat the dog food. So it's a constant battle of trying to keep the goats away from the dogs when we need them to be away. And then also allowing our dogs, dogs, livestock guard dogs with the, to the goats. 
And so we're sitting there crammed in. We have fence within fence, kind of like an onion system going on right now where all of our animals are locked in the same cage and it's kind of a mess and it's stressing us right out. And we know that it could be less stressful and we just need to set it up differently how we have our paddocks and all that stuff and do it somewhere else, not so close to our fence line. So yeah, we basically consolidated everything. We got moved up the hill. We built our permanent goat enclosure and Doug built a really cool stone goat house that was on our plan. So the whole thing is, is we were planning on doing this. It just kind of expedited the move. And we also felt pressure to kind of rush, which kind of was rough. <laughs> honestly, but we got it done. The tractor came in handy. We did, Doug did most of the moving of the big bulky heavy things with the tractor, which was awesome. So that was good. Um, one of the things that we noticed after we moved was our little kitty Clara, that we've had her for just about two months and she's definitely pregnant. So we're expecting kittens any day and we'll keep you posted on that. She's doing great. She's actually been doing a lot of hunting, but we noticed the last week she's kind of slowed down and she's hanging out a lot around the trailer and around the dogs. So we think she's probably getting ready to go into labor sometime soon and sticking close. So everybody got moved successfully. We didn't lose anybody in the process and uh, the goats are doing a lot better. We are having trouble with one of them who's kind of an escape artist, which is Laverne. She's kind of the brownish one. She likes to jump and she can jump pretty dang high. So we have to figure out a way to keep her a little bit more contained. And otherwise it's been a lot more peaceful having the animals all separated out and uh, we're getting settled in. We really like our new spot. that we got to do this week which was actually really cool was meet one of our one of our viewers and uh this guy's name is jason and he's got a youtube channel he's just getting started but you guys should check it out and give him a follow he's doing something similar to what doug and i have done he's getting out of colorado he's coming here to cochise county and uh, he's doing some cool stuff he's planning or he's been working on remodeling a real old Winnebago and he's bringing that out here to live in. He's going to build his homestead and we'd like to show him some support. So check it out. I'll put the link above if you can access that. If not, I'll put it down below in the notes. I'll link his channel. Check him out and give him a follow and I know he'd appreciate that. Really nice guy and actually Jason's the type of person that we would love to have as a neighbor. <laughs> but you don't get to pick your neighbors, do you? That's one of the things we wanted to talk about. Part of the whole reason that we moved may or may not have been due to a neighbor. We think possibly somebody may have complained. We're not exactly sure because the county won't really give us that information and that's fine. Um, but we do have a couple neighbors that we've heard are not real crazy about what we're doing and the way we're building, even though it's totally legal and this county actually supports it. But uh, that's something that you need to keep in mind when you're looking, if you're looking for homestead property. Obviously you can't pick your neighbors, but uh, you know, neighbors can be like goats. They can be difficult. They can be grumpy and irritable. They can be very persistent. All those negative qualities that you don't necessarily want in a neighbor. We're looking for neighbors that are kind of more like sheep where they're kind of go with the flow and let you do you and they do them and they don't get in too much trouble. They kind of stay out of your business and just take care of their own stuff. So that's kind of what 
we're hoping for going forward. All right, so Carrie touched upon goats and sheep. I mean, it's very biblical. I mean, God makes it clear that there is going to be two types at the end, and it's going to be goats and sheep. Right here is a prime example of what goats do. This is something goats do. It's all about them. It's their selfishness. It's uh, everything's about them. If the world doesn't revolve around them, nobody's world should evolve around anybody. You know, it's just stuff like this can get, get me pretty upset. This is a historical place. People come in here and they're just like, you know, I wasn't part of this history, so I don't care. This is worthless to me. Bet you if some sheep were in here making this, they probably built this because I think some of those goats are probably too lazy to build something like this. But uh, yeah, I mean, you could end up with goats or sheep as your neighbors. And uh, I feel sorry for you if you get some goats, but there's nothing we can really do except uh, have some integrity and let that shine through and maybe uh maybe uh they'll be inspired to be a better person who knows we wanted to show you that that uh goat house um it's something i would have rather had a couple months to work on and develop like the plan that i wanted to to build this structure out of but like we had less than a week to move our operation from down at the bottom of the hill and move it uphill so we built it out of stone built it out of lime um we backfilled it so it's about three feet of just dirt and rocks and that's where the bedding's gonna go and we recycled those old t uh railroad ties for the roof beams we hurricane strapped them to the stone wall and then we used some uh wood that we shuggy band and of course some of our metal roof roofing so I would say this entire structure, not counting the fence, um, was probably around $80 to build. With the fence, we added another, how much was the uh, fence? It's 320 feet, and I think it was probably $200, $200 for the fence. So you're looking total, and the gate that we bought was another 120, but I think we got a deal like $90 for it. So you're looking at for less than three or four hundred dollars we have made a a goat house for the goats and it's a lot easier to manage i tell you what you keep those goats in there if you don't want to deal with them that morning if you don't want them chewing on you or what what have you you just leave them in there and feed them over the fence so that makes a world of difference but we don't have to deal with the chicken coop in the middle of the <laughs> the chicken coop or the dogs we let the dogs out to feed them so that's uh, life is looking good we're already planning on uh, where we're going to plant trees and stuff like that where we want the beds and how we're going to manage the water up there at the campsite and now we can just roll out of bed and get to work hopefully on that chicken coop soon um, i still need to build a couple little small structures and then we will be going on that chicken coop and we're literally like 50 feet away so it shouldn't we don't have that excuse that we gotta walk up the hill
Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video and seeing all of our updates. And uh, we hope that you guys don't live near goats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the goat people. It's uh, stay away from the goat people or just tolerate them, you know. Okay. Uh, hopefully, if you are new to this channel, uh, you enjoyed it enough to want to hit the subscribe button recheck that notification bell button on the bottom there and just make sure you're up to date on that if you want to continue to get updates on our videos and stuff but yeah yeah thanks for tuning in today you guys we'll see you soon bye bye